be the glory and praise i would like to share to you uh the dreams that i had april the 15th and uh, i saw my husband taking me close to the ocean and we passed through a living room of somebody's house and we end up on this street with so many cops lying dead on the street it's not just two three but probably five or more they're lying one after the other and i've seen a lot of cops who were alive standing and conducting investigation on the street and you know the the moment i saw a lot probably like five to or ten more cops lying on the street the moment i saw this there's really a deep sorrow in my heart because it seems like these cops are there to defend us with our in you know with the, with our freedom to to be safe but then it seems like our safety was already threatened and taken away and the sadness and the sorrow was really overwhelming that i'm really crying in my uh in my dream it's just that um it's just that there's a question in me saying that who's going to protect who's going to protect us since the law right now are being abused and injustices are seen everywhere that's what's going on in my uh in my heart or what i'm thinking right now too that um, there's really a grief or a sorrow then i saw myself i'm being transported and it changes the dream then i saw myself standing at the gate of this camp okay at the gate of this uh, camp military camp and i have this like bucket okay with uh, woods and something inside there that i really can uh, i really didn't recognize what's the others but i know my bucket was filled and i i saw wood you know cut wood inside and then suddenly i was holding a meat and i was trying to cut the meat into pieces by my hand but i can't suddenly a guy appeared in front of me and he took them he took the meat and just smashed you know his hands together and then the the meat suddenly was chopped into pieces and dropped into the bucket actually when he was doing it my mind was like i'm supposed to tell him please uh please don't be you know don't help me because i don't want my husband uh, i don't want my husband to see you and he will get jealous you know, i don't want any guy to come help me because i don't want my husband to get jealous but uh, i was not able to say those words because everything just happened so fast that he just took the meat smash it and cut it into pieces and then he was just like smiling and he left and then suddenly i saw this bucket of mine burning burning like filled with burning charcoal and as i was looking at it i was trying to save you know the whole bucket because the charcoal the burn the fire in this charcoal was so fast that it consumed almost everything now i don't know what had happened that i turn you know i pour i pour my bucket and then that's how it ended and now i was suddenly transported again to this place where in the whole area the whole area was covered with water it's like a city you know a place where the all the houses are the community but then the whole area was covered with water with probably uh lower than the knee or and higher than the ankle so it's in between and the whole area was covered with water and you can see a lot of fishes small fishes just like swimming everywhere and people are walking houses are there and then um as i was looking at the fishes i my attention was focused on this house and then the lady came out of this house and she asked me for a fish and so because there's a lot of fish in that area i just looked down and i grabbed a tiny bit of fish and showed it to her but she said no that's not the kind of fish i like and then she showed me beside her house if this is her house beside her there's actually a pond with like a 
crystal glass uh, you know it's like this is how it looks like the water was covering the whole area but then the water is connected to the ocean right but this lady's house is just close to the ocean and she got this pond but the pond is like in an aquarium kind it's like a crystal glass and then you can see huge big fat fish huge fish and the one that i grabbed on the regular ground was just tiny bitty just to cover uh, you know that will be in this hand and uh her fish her fishes are so huge and they're so plenty and then the water in her pond is coming from the ocean the water is clear crystal clear and then beside this pond i turn around it's like a pool it's like a pool which is connected to the ocean i was wondering was was uh, as i was looking at it because this place it's like a pool made but then there's a lot of people standing on it and the water is so clear so white so clear like uh oh, like a crystal glass and then as i was looking at the water i'm looking at the you know from far this water is connected to the ocean and a lot of people are standing there and it's like so serene people are just standing no noise and um, the water was calm they're not swimming or something but they're just standing in this crystal clear water and so anyway um and then this is and then the last part i was walking in this junkyard area where they're say selling a lot of carved images and it looks like they're also having a part area there where they're having like uh things to be sold at the cemetery and so carving of animals uh i've even seen a black cat with this lady this black cat is like she knows what's going on she's even looking you know oh it's so ugly but what is this dream all about and these are this is where the lord led me to uh, i'm trying to cut this into pieces but they are interconnected with each other and so let's go to romans 12 verse 17 to 21 we're seeing in the dream cops are being killed and i'm sure there will be killing of uh, people if um either way there might be people who will be fighting back and kill others also blaming uh who killed the cops and maybe people who were arrested by the cops will kill a lot of cops because of uh what was done to them and previously when i was showing this dream about uh, the rise of the beast and the two witnesses you know the metal that was raised i also saw uh, people who were who were arrested by the cops in the car that they actually are trying to make fun of the cops and hide their vehicle and they're conniving with each other they're trying to hit hurt the cops and so what is this trying to tell us go to romans 12 verse 17 to 21 do not repay evil for evil be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone if it is possible as far as it depends on you live at peace with everyone do not take revenge my dear friends but leave room for god's wrath for it is written it is mine to avenge i will repay says the lord on the contrary so it means the lord will do the judgment so don't do the revenge all you have to do is if people kill any of your family member just what had happened to my brother forgive in order for you to be forgiven let the lord do the revenge not you he has the right to judge everyone so if your enemy the lord said if your enemy is hungry feed him if he is thirsty give him something to drink in doing this 
you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be do not be overcome by evil, by overcome evil by good, but overcome evil with good. So instead of fighting back because people are fighting with you, overcome it with good. Feed them and give them water to drink. Remember the Lord said, He is the word. Okay? The Lord said, Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So the the word of God is our food, food for our soul. And the Lord is the living water. So instead of fighting with these people who hurt you, say the words of God and do the kindness and do good things to them. Because the bad things that they've been doing will be overcome by evil. And if they don't, it's the Lord's part to judge them, not us. So go to Proverbs 25 verse 22. If your enemy is hungry, give him food to eat. If he is thirsty, give him water to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head and the Lord will reward you. So the Lord will reward you for being strong and not fighting back and doing evil, but doing good in return. So same with Romans. So what is this smashing of meat that I've seen? It has something to do with sin offering. Go to Judges 6 verse 21. Then the angel of the Lord touched the meat and the unleavened bread with the tip of the staff that was in his hand. Fire flared from the rock consuming the meat. And the bread and the angel of the Lord disappeared. That's what happened in my dream. He took the he took the meat, but he smashed it and cut it into pieces, and then dropped it on my bucket or basket. And then suddenly the fire was burning there. This is how people during the time the priest do the uh, uh, sacrifice for sin offering. And so I know you're saying we're not supposed to do that. Yes, and I'm going to explain it further. So during the time in Exodus 29 verse 14, But burn the bulls, flesh and its hide and its intestine outside the camp, where I was seeing myself doing it outside the camp. It is a sin offering. So the Lord is showing us during those times, People or the priests are doing the sin offering, that they're offering meat and uh, uh, bread for the Lord, for the sin of other people. And it's also in Leviticus 4 verse 12, that is, all the rest of the bull he must take outside the camp to a place ceremonially clean, where the ashes are thrown and burn it there in a wood fire on ash heap. That's why I was offering, this dream is showing us the offering of the meat where the angel, that guy who helped me was an angel who suddenly disappeared and then the charcoal was burned and I was trying to dump it out. And then in Leviticus 4 verse 21, then he shall take the bull outside the camp and burn it as a burn, as he burned the first bull. This is the sin offering for the community. So this is trying to show us that the cops who were killed, the priest is actually showing the sin offering for the sin committed by the community. That the, the meat was cut into pieces, held by the angel, just like what is written in the Bible. And then the fire was burning and the ashes were being poured down. But uh, that's how it is done by the priest. In front of the camp in order to do the sin offering. But because Jesus come, aside from that, that was the practice before. Christ now, as he come on the earth, he came on the earth. Jesus now is the living sacrifice once and for all. First he said, sacrifices and offerings, burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not desire. This is what Jesus said. Nor were you pleased with them, though they were offered in accordance with the law. Then he said, Here I am. I have come to do your will. He sets aside the first to establish the second. And by that will, we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Christ once for all. So that's why Jesus died on the cross. He is the living sacrifice. He died. 
because he said the the sacrifices that was done before it's not pleasing it's not the desire of god the father and he was not pleased to that so that's why jesus came according to god's will to be offered on the cross in order for us in order for us to be made holy that's why jesus died for us and so there's no offering of anything anymore because died offered him jesus offered himself on the cross according to god's will in order for us for our sins to be forgiven and we will be holy only if we accept jesus as our lord and our savior so what is this um what is this fishes that I've been seeing? Actually, it reminded me with the grace of God and the Holy Spirit with the parable of the net. Go to Matthew 13 verse 47. Once again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was let down into the lake and caught all kinds of fish. When it was full, the fishermen pulled it up on the shore. Then they sat down and collected the good fish in the basket, but threw the bad fish. So what is this telling us? It is telling us that the kingdom of heaven is like a fisherman throwing the net down on the lake. And caught this net will caught different kind of fishes. When it's full, the fisherman is going to choose and collect the fish and they're going to throw the bad away so that's why in my dream i was shown that i pick up a small one and i was told no that's not the one i'm looking for it was thrown and i was shown big fishes big fishes so what is this trying to tell us everyone we are like fishes in the ocean or the lake the Lord or the angel of the Lord is going to throw the net on the lake and he's going to collect the fishes in the ocean. So small fishes are probably the fish who don't believe in the Lord and they could also be the anyone who, who knows, everybody knows the Lord God, the Father, but these are probably the fishes that don't bear fruits. Or they live with the world. That's why they didn't grow. They just gr they just remain small. Why? Because they are not be they don't allow themselves to be fed with the words of God in order for them to grow. Remember, I, I used to have a fish pan. Okay, that was uh you know when I was young and uh in my little cottage house. The fish needs to be fed in order for them to grow. And so, what is this trying to tell us? If we represent fishes in order for a human being to grow, is for us to be fed not only with the, the physical food that we have right now, but the Lord said with the spiritual word of God, which is the word of God. In order for that uh, mustard seed that was planted in our heart, we need to spiritually nourish it with the words of God by reading the Bible all the time. And so once it is fed by the words of God, the word of God is also the living water. It means it's going to water that mustard seed in you so it will blossom and grow into a big tree so that the birds are going to nest on your tree and even people who will learn uh, who will hear your words who will see the good deeds that you've been doing and you're leaving the words of god they will come close to you and learn from you and you will set an example being the child of god and so now why will the lord wants us to bear much fruit because he wants us he gave us the treasure he gave us the treasure to use it and put it into work 
in order for so many people to be saved because Jesus said he didn't come only for the righteous but also for the sinners so you know he desires that everybody will be saved that's what the Lord's desire is and so these fishes that didn't grow big they are the one who became stagnant they didn't grow because they are overwhelmed with what is in the world they are watching what's on the world so what is the sea of glass go to revelation 15 verse 2 and i saw what looked like a sea of glass glowing with fire and standing beside the sea those who had been victorious over the beast and its image and over the number of its name standing on the sea of glass holding harps of God. I've been seeing people on this sea, but it's like crystal clear, like glass. So these are probably the, these are the people who've been victorious over the beast and its image, over the number of its name. They were standing. I didn't see the harp, but I saw them standing. And so they were victorious over the beast because in the last part of my dream, I've been seeing this like a like a drift you know, like a graveyard of all carved images and this is like showing us these people standing in the crystal class of water are those people who stand firm with the lord and they became victorious and this graveyard this will be the place for all the people who will buy the carved images and the idols of the world so therefore the Lord said, Do not repay evil for evil, but overcome evil with good. And always remember, Jesus died on the cross. He sacrificed himself in order for us to become holy. So in order for us to be in this crystal clear glass of water, sea of glass in Revelation, we need to stand strong, continuously nourish ourselves with the word of God, in order for us to overcome evil and to stand firm until the end and so that we will be able to to enjoy the presence of god in heaven and please brothers and sisters idolatry and these carved images the lord are not pleased of pleased with them we take off all the carved images in the house in order to be safe. In order for you to be safe, remember, if you're Chinese, please take off the dragon design on your, uh, uh, whatever dragon design in your houses. Because those are symbols of Lucifer or Satan. He is the dragon. Then why do we need to put dragon designs in our house? Are you trying to emphasize you like the dragon or you like Lucifer? No, we rebuke him in Jesus' name. And don't put the pictures of Jesus also because nobody knows the exact face of Jesus. I've been seeing him several times, but I can't even describe him perfectly when I wake up. Okay, so the Lord's face will be a surprise for us at the last time. If possible, put bible verses in your house and we change our design in the house we put picture frames with all the bible verses because this is the temple of the lord this is where the lord dwells and therefore his words will be covering my house because for me and my household we will only serve god almighty the father the i am the great i am the alpha and the omega abba Yahweh, through His Son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. This is where He belongs and we will serve Him. And we are going to profess that and testify for Him that He is real, He is true, that He died for us to save us from our sins. And if He save us, we, all we need to do is to be born again, accept Him as our Lord and our Savior, and be born again in order for the Holy Spirit to be with us. So brothers and sisters, God bless each and every one of us. And may His light shine upon each and every one of us. In order for us to be fruitful and bring this light to wherever we go. 
in Jesus' name, that He will be glorified. God the Father will be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.